The term Texas justice is often synonymous with tough on crime. Our first guest says the reality, though, is far from that. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo is not afraid to speak his mind, and he unleashed about it on Facebook the other day. Chief Acevedo wrote, once again, a suspect already charged with murder and two aggravated assaults in 2017 was out on bond, and now he is about to be charged with murder again. This is beyond outrageous, the chief wrote. When will the people of Harris County, Texas, and our nation wake up and hold judges accountable? Chief Acevedo is with us from Houston. Chief, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Good, good to be here. Thanks for uh, joining us from Houston. Let's start with Texas Justice. You wrote on Facebook the other day that 25% of suspects charged with murders in Houston were already on probation or parole. What in the world yep. is going on? Well, you know, we're living at a time where Texas in the 70s, 80s, and 90s was the, uh, uh, you know, uh, lock them up and throw away the key state to the state where you can't get them out of jail uh, fast enough. And so uh, we've taken criminal justice reform to an extent where we're putting suspects uh, above a victim and where common sense has really been uh, uh, thrown away with the old proverbial uh, key. So we've, we've got to recalibrate and start uh, letting people know what's going on in our state. Is this a problem with the legislature? Is this a problem with local judges? Where, where do you see fault? Well, I think it's a problem with all the above, okay? I mean, uh, we've got activists that uh, believe that no one should be uh, behind bars, that, you know, everybody should, uh, that somehow the, 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 the criminal is the victim instead of the other way around. We've got judges that are activist judges that uh, their idea of probable cause, we're not sure what it is because they're kicking out cases left and right. Uh, despite the fact that there's absolute probable cause. Uh, we've got judges that are giving people slaps on the wrist. And quite frankly, what we need is we need the legislature to step in and to have a, especially for violent criminals and repeat offenders uh, like burglars, uh, to step in and come up with some parameters that is not just based on money, but based on risk. What is the risk of flight and what is the risk of public safety? And when you have murderers, in Texas's large, largest city and across the state that are getting out with $5,000 in cash or $10,000 in cash and uh, while on bail are killing other people, that is a problem. And it's time for us to speak up because uh, children uh, and, uh, and our neighbors and our friends are being murdered by people that should have never been on the streets in the first place. And, and is this a, uh, an issue with like a bond schedule, the, the, the paper that the judges go by, or is this just judges being soft on crime? I think, I think that uh, it's quite frankly, it's judges that uh, aren't uh, holding people accountable, that aren't making a, uh, an assessment. And last uh, session, I know that uh, John Whitmire was the dean of the Senate and the Criminal Justice Committee, uh, wanted to pass some legislation in terms of having a tool that's a risk assessment tool that again uh, scores what people in terms of their criminal history, the nature of the crime, whether or not they should have bail uh, and quite frankly too many people are uh, out on low bond or uh, no cash at all. How did we get to this step because the term Texas justice is known as, you know, what you mentioned, the, the, the tough, make sure you pay for the crime you did. How, how did we even arrive here? Well, I think on the extreme left, it, uh, it, it's about uh, civil liberties and, uh, you know, let's, let's restore people and let's lift them up. And I'm all for that, but we've got to use common sense. On the extreme right, it's about either, uh, you know, kowtowing to the, the bail industry or, quite frankly, we don't want to pay the, the cost of incarcerating people. But what people don't understand is that when somebody dies, the economic toll is tremendous for every murder and the emotional and psychological uh, and quality of life toll for the people of Texas is uh, astronomical. And so we've got to bring transparency back into the criminal justice system. Law enforcement's always under the microscope. It's time to put the microscope under uh, the district attorney's office in our state and the judges in our state uh, because they need to be able to answer and be held accountable for the decisions they're making that's impacting safety. Our station there in Houston, KHOU, actually did a story about the uh, number of people who are involved in high-speed chases running from you guys down there on the freeways in Houston. And more than half of those people that you finally catch and arrest never serve any prison time despite this being a third-degree felony. And what people don't understand is that crooks, believe it or not, they do a risk versus benefit uh, analysis. Look, we pursue here in do this they, city. Do they really? We have very. 
Oh, absolutely. I can look. I can show you. We can try to get you videos uh, uh, where, where people are in a wire, and crooks will make decisions. Back in my days in Austin, between Travis County and Williamson County, Travis was extremely progressive and sometimes soft on crime. Williamson was extremely uh, draconian and really sometimes too tough on crime. And we try to set up a deal in the Williamson County corner of an intersection where the Travis County corner is on the other side of the intersection. And we have real stories of, of Texas policing where the crook would say, oh, no, let's not do it at that gas station. That's Williamson County. Let's do it at this gas station across the intersection because wow. it's Travis County. So they do. They wow. pay attention. Uh, and last, let me just say one last thing that this thing's really important. We can't keep catching violent felons with a history of violence, with a history of committing violence against others, with firearms. They're prohibited from having them, and nothing's done to them. We have got to hold these uh, violent criminals accountable for pos uh, unlawful possession of a, of a firearm, and that's something that I hope that the governor and the legislature will look at as well. Chief, you're, you've never been afraid to speak your mind. You're one of the few police chiefs in Texas that really gets out there and says what's on your mind. Do you have any political no. aspirations? Uh, you know what? We live in a world where uh, what, what I know is that I equally anger the extreme left and the extreme right and people that uh, are w focused more on good policy, on common sense, on trying to uh, have an impact, uh, really yeah. have no place in either political party because both of them, uh, when it comes to their bases, are out of touch with the rest of the people in Texas and the United States. And I think that's why there's so much frustration in our nation right now. All right. Chief Art Acevedo from the Houston Police Department, thanks so much for being here. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me. The Democrat